What's up YouTube, Gent here with Cowboy Corals. I'm doing a follow up video for that last video I did on the Quanta Reef lights. These guys right here, I don't know if you guys uh, saw that previous video. If not, go back and watch it, kind of go over the construction of it. I, right now I'm just doing a video over par that I'm getting in this tank. It's a six foot tank by three feet wide. Um, and it's about 11 inches off the water surface. 14 inches to the bottom. I'll show you some part readings here in just a second. Um, but the ones that I got on here, I just have three four foot uh, strips on there. Um, they are the Mezzo Blues, two Mezzo Blues on the outside and then one OG Pop. To be honest, this color is pretty damn cool. I don't know if anyone remembers, this might date me, if anyone remembers the old school VHO bulbs, those actinic bulbs that you used to buy, those giant T8s. Oh, yeah, it definitely dates me. But there's a certain spectrum that you just couldn't get with normal actinics. It has a little more um, actinic with kind of a little purple to it. Uh, those old VHO bulbs, I loved them. This spectrum here off these two Mezzo Blues and then one OG Pop, very reminiscent of that. Um, it looks great under corals that fluoresce. It looks great uh, for nighttime viewing. I don't have any other lights on that, just the strips. Um, so I can get power readings off of that. Certain things it doesn't look good for, pink bird nests, fish, certain things like that where they've, it's a colorful coral, but it's not a fluorescent coral. It's not gonna show up under these spectrums. But to be honest, most of my tanks, I have XR30s, Kessels, which I love the best. Um, but yeah, with supplemental lighting, if I was to do maybe two of these bulbs or just one Mezzo Blue, or two Mezzo Blues or one Mezzo Blue and one of those um, uh, OG Pops and get that kind of VHO supplemental, it's crazy ridiculous. I love this color. Uh, so let's get some par readings here. Um, again, it's 11 inches top to bottom. And let me grab a par meter here. So they're all running 100% intensity three of them and they're four feet long. So I'm missing about a foot on either end, but even in this front corner over here, I got some low light corals. Uh, we're getting 50 on the very front, very corner. This front guy halfway down, I'm 130 all the way down. Let's get it where you can actually get the light coming from the other bars as well, 130. 140 all the way to the very bottom. Uh, dead center, uh, halfway up the tank. I'm at three. That's probably reading backwards. It does say 360 though. Um, that's dead center, middle of the tank. Top of the tank, right underneath the water surface. I'm at 400, 440, 480. Um, bottom, all the way down the bottom. It's tough because I got corals and rocks all the way down there, but you get a good idea. My fish are trying, my tanks are trying to swipe them. I'm getting 250 on the bottom, center, all the way to the front on the bottom, 150. Uh, and these are, and this is a foot away from the light, so the lights end and I'm still 12 inches forward on it. If I was to go to the very end of the light, straight underneath it on the bottom, I'm getting 180 to 200. Um, so yeah, it's getting crazy good light for everywhere. I mean, some of these guys are getting cooked with 350, 200 towards the front, middle, upper deck, 250. So about 250 all in the mid range, all throughout the tank. And then if you're going right under it, it gets up to 300, 350. And again, right under, we're getting like 400 under the water surface. And if you have your system set up, you can get away with a six foot tank with these four foots. If you got really low light corals, a lot of time I don't like stacking corals or rocks all the way to the front um, in the corners for water flow. And then also, it, if you have rocks high up there, you can't really you can't really cover it well without a lot of light spilling out. There's really not much light spillage on the front of this. Um, they're mounted. I'll show you guys here. They're mounted 
about six, about seven, eight inches apart from each other, and then about seven inches off to the side of the tank. Um, here, I'll grab, I'll grab a lens here and show you what it looks like, kind of with the with the coral lens. So this is what it looks like. I put a one of those orange filters on. I think mine's an ice cap. I'm using both those lenses, but this looks pretty damn spot on to um, what I'm seeing, the color wise. Um, it looks just like those VHO bulbs, those old VHO. To be honest, I love that color. Uh, the pink bird's nest is a little pinker, uh, or I mean a little more pink in this video than in what I'm actually seeing. It's a little more purple. Um, same thing with that Ghani. But everything else looks very true to color. It's got that kind of a uh, actinic purple VHO look, which looks sick. Um, I'm eventually going to uh, probably throw these guys, the uh, castles on there, something that adds a little shimmer um, to that. And again, this system is all going in here. So these corals will have a 10K bulb or something sitting on top to bring out that because these corals aren't the best for showing off the fluorescence of it. Um, but it does fluoresce crazy good. It looks great. I love that color. And yeah, I will probably leave this reef bright on until I can buy some uh, some things to change the intensity, lower the intensity. Otherwise, these things put out, these Quantum Pros put out so much damn par, I would cook these corals. This is kind of my lower light tank. So a lot of the, the shrooms, the mushrooms, and other stuff will just get cooked. Um, but yeah, there's some new frags I got in and it's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, these guys, my acro tank for sure is gonna get those. The mezzo blue, the OG pop, or just maybe two of those mezzo blues on there. And then, um, but yeah, cause I can really crank it. I think I'm at 400 to 600 par in the center here and about 250 on the edges down the bottom. And changing out those two reef brights to those is gonna make a big difference. It's really gonna crank up the par. And these guys will love it. As long as you got a lot of nutrients in the tank and decent flow, you can crank up the par. You just, need, you just can't, can't overdo it. Um, that one's just run the XR30s. Just my anemone tank, and it doesn't look good. I just had moved all these anemones recently, and they all got faded. There's a Colorado Sunburst right there. And they're finally getting their color back, but back to why we're here. I mean, that that Pictina, that Space Invaders, it just, that looks exactly in real life. It actually is more vibrant than this video is doing justice. Most everything looks a little more vibrant than what I'm actually seeing on this camera. Um, that's how good it looks. Those look more like kind of pinkish color. I think some of the light, ambient lights changing the look of it. But I'm loving this. I'm loving this spectrum. And man, these things put out a ton of light. So, in conclusion, I'm loving these, obviously. The two Mezzo Blues, OG Pop, it looks just like the old VHO bulbs. Um, very uniform spectrum. Uh, it looks great. And uh, I will do a review on the other bulbs, or the other um, flavors, if you will, whatever you call them, the other spectrums. The more daytime bulbs. To be honest, on a short tank, really low tank, uh, really semi-low height on that. I kind of put a few up there. I already know I'm not going to like them as well. Um, just because when you got a single point light source of different spectrum, um, especially you have whites or reds, you'll actually notice kind of a disco ball effect. On these you don't, the mezzo blue, the OG pop, not at all. Super uniform throughout. It's the same color 
It has a little bit of shimmer, but I don't notice any of the disco ball, none of the different um, spectrum shining through. It's blended really, really well. I did hang one of the other ones up and I kind of noticed that there's certain areas where say this rock structure right here is blocking um, some of the blue and you get a, a white light or vice versa, you get a violet light. You can kind of see it's on the ground a little bit. So on a tank that's low, short tank that's low and it's um, hung fairly close to the tank, you'll get kind of that disco ball effect. That's why these other tanks I use, the Kessels, I love that shimmer. Uh, single point light source, it blends everything perfectly. So I'll probably do a couple Kessels and then maybe these OG Pops um, or the Mezzo Blues the OG Pop kind of get that same VHO perfect actinic blend right here. Uh, but I will still do a review on here and it might look really good on here if I raise it high enough, which I might with these lights, kind of do two big islands on this tank. It's an eight foot tank and with it high enough and everything kind of spread out enough, it should, it should blend that pretty well. Um, but these for the price, for the amount of par I'm getting, uh, it's crazy. I love them. And the, and the color too. This spectrum is ridiculous. It's, it's pretty sick. Luca, you did a great job. I love these lights. I will, uh, I will post another video on the other one uh, when I get them up on this tank and running, um, as well as getting them on the SPS tank. I gotta switch out a lot of reef brights. Anyways, see you guys.